Lyme disease is an infectious disease spread to humans through tick bites. So this morning, let's talk Lyme. Susan McInnes is with the Lyme Disease Association of Alberta. Chad Smith is a Calgary living with the disease. You have had Lyme disease. You're considered cured. Correct. You are still in the process, Chad, five years-ish yes. on because you don't actually remember ever having a tick bite. This came about because you just had a myriad of symptoms and a myriad of examinations and it took years for you to get a diagnosis. That is absolutely correct. I had all kinds of different symptoms over the course of five years, in and out seeing doctors, didn't know what was wrong with me. And different symptoms. So you would see one about arthritis and then you would see this one about a different symptom. And, and you know, it wasn't until sort of just a few months ago that it all came together and you got actually a diagnosis of Lyme disease. Yeah, it was actually the media. I saw a national story on how Lyme is increasing in Canada. And uh, I read the story. I paid out of pocket to go see a Lyme specialist. And I had my blood sent to Germany. Ah. And it came back positive. So I was And from there with on, Lyme. you yeah. are on a course, a treatment course now yes. that hopefully is, is going to get you where you need to go. Now, Chad, a big outdoorsman, Susan, the ticks, mm -hmm. they are outdoors. Mm -hmm. We don't know necessarily when, we, when we're getting bitten by a tick. What do we need to watch for? Um, well, you just want to, first of all, you want to practice prevention. So a bug spray. Go to your local um, store and just find a bug spray that specifically says on the bottle, um, repels ticks. Okay. And if you get a tick bite, you want to make sure you remove it quickly. You want to remove it safely. Just find tip tweezers. All that information is on our website, albertalime.org. And watch for symptoms. Um, symptoms can be very varied amongst people. Some come on quickly, some more slowly, and are often um, kind of brushed off as a flu-like illness at times. Mm -hmm. So if that bite is not um, preventatively treated with antibiotics, it could develop into what um, Chad here has had and what I've had and many Albertans have had, which is the chronic form of It's Lyme not disease. an unusual story to hear stories yeah. like Chad's where it is it's taking not. years. Now, how are you feeling now? You're about six months into sort of an aggressive treatment. Yes. I'm about six months in. I, I, my symptoms are clearing up. I am starting to feel better, but I'm still struggling with it. And I don't know if it's something that I'll ever fully recover from right. or if it's something that will just be managed throughout my life. Right. But was it a relief to get that diagnosis? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Like I thought I was going crazy, sure. right? After seeing all these different doctors and nobody being able to tell me exactly what was wrong with me other than all these other symptoms. Um, it was very frustrating and you know, I should not be the one figuring it out. Our mm -hmm. healthcare system, right, they, they need to have better education on it. Our doctors need to be aware of it. And anybody out there who has multiple symptoms that they're not sure w what's going on, consider Lyme. Consider Lyme and they can get a list of symptoms on the website. Yes. And uh, the thing for prevention, cover up, get the, uh, the bug repellent. If you see a tick, Take the tick and take it to the doctor because they can check that yes, tick. Yes, take it to the doctor. Alberta Health Services does a surveillance program. You can submit it with them. Absolutely, it's very important. That preventative measure is really can save you years of your life potentially. Years. And some people get diagnosed right away and they have six weeks of antibiotics and they're fine. Both yeah. Susan and Chad had long, drawn-out situations. Susan is considered recovered and we hope that is the case for you, Chad, as so. well. Get back to that fly fishing without worrying about Absolutely. any more tick <laughs> bites. Uh, you can uh, check out more about Lyme disease, the prevention, the symptoms to watch for. Lyme disease, uh, albertalyme.org is going to give you all the info that you need. Thanks for coming in.